I have made a lot of predictions about Rambadur Bomjun on my website, The Hell Korea Times. And those predictions had been based on my own experience with him during the time when I was a follower, during the time when I was his victim. And secondly, they were based on astrological predictions because I know from his mother his exact birth data. Few people know it. And the third, uh, based on intuition or um, visions, dreams uh, of other people who were connected to him. So to have three sources to confirm the same, if it's like that, only that, then I go to the computer and write down an article about that, that it is most probably going to be like that. I always double check. I hardly, I'm quite, I'm very pragmatic person, so I refuse to believe just to, in my dreams, intuitions, or even in uh, so-called miracles, which Bon John himself had induced to show me, to frighten me, to terrorize me, or to shock me. There were a lot of such things during the time when he kept me on chains. So, I know what I know and the problem is not this. The problem is that I know that people are not going to believe me. And the problem is that Bomjon always has enough uh, fanatic brainwashed people around him which do their best uh, to fulfill his wishes. If he was alone just and people would know what is the truth about him, then he could be never successful. But because he is, manages to pick up the worst of the worst type of people from Nepalese and foreigners, people with criminal tendencies, then he has a big army of helpers to fulfill his plans. And uh, very long ago, when I was released from the chains in 2012, and uh, I stayed again in Nepal and uh, communicated with my friends, and I tried to digest what happened to me. It was a long process that I was able to uh, cut the ties innerly with Bomjo's energy and uh, it needed a lot of a lot of prayer and divine help for uh, releasing myself from his clothes on the invisible level so he's chaining people not only physically he chains people mainly spiritually and mainly mentally so the most difficult part is not to be released from the chains, but to be released innerly. And during that time, uh, I was thinking what kind of attitude to have after what happened to me as a victim of Bong Joon, one of his many victims. I was not special. For a short time I was thinking Maybe he did this to me only because I was a yogini and uh, it was obvious he wanted to destroy anything spiritual. That's also true. But then he has more than 70 other victims and by now many people whom he killed. Uh, not all of them were yogis and yoginis. So I was thinking, in what way I have to warn people? How can I warn people? Because I want to share what I know about Rambomjon. 
But the doors are closed. People don't want to hear the truth, especially the Nepali.